Welcome to episode 11 of Tools in the Hall. I've got a big one today. Nope. Nope. That one's too easy. We're not going to do that one. We're going to let that one go. It's still in the rotation, but not this time. Anyway, I've got more tools than the interview room for the White House press secretary's job. Oh, the jokes. Let's dig in. put a restock order in for both of our trucks and we've been getting a lot of business lately more than usual so a lot of this stuff is special orders and a lot of it's going to fill out the shelves on the trucks last week was a particularly busy week um, even though we we put a restock order in a couple of weeks ago a lot of that stuff already sold so i'm very grateful to all of our customers for the business that they continue to send our way and all this stuff just continues to support that whole effort. Now, we've got some really interesting and cool different things that we do usually keep on the trucks, but I don't think they've made it to a tool haul video yet. So what I'm going to do is to tease you into watching the whole video, I'll save the best for last. So let's start over here and work our way right to left. First up... The Milwaukee Fuel 3 8 inch cordless ratchet. This is the de facto cordless ratchet that people buy. Um, it's either this or the snap-on ones, but I've been finding a lot of people are trading in their snappies for the Milwaukee's when tread-up time comes, or they're just opting to buy the Milwaukee's because their pricing's much better compared to the snap-on ones, and... Milwaukee just railroads everybody when it comes to warranty. You get five years on the tools. They're standard capacity batteries, have two-year warranties, and their extended capacity batteries all have three-year warranties. And I don't know anyone else that produces tools of this quality that put that kind of warranty on it. So it's hard to beat. And these things, I think they generally outsell every other brand for the customers that we see. We also have the Shaker Siphon, handy little guy. It has a, a ball on one end that when you insert that end into your source liquid and shake it, it creates a suction and allows you to siphon the liquid out through the hose. Very popular, particularly with the diesel crowd. That I think is just replacing a terminal tool that either we replaced under warranty or swapped out from the Lyle kit. Milton is the company we use for our air chucks, and this extended one is great for, for dualies and uh, big trucks. And because we service so many diesel customers, that's uh, one of the regular ones that we keep on the truck. And it's going to be AC service season soon. Actually, by the time you see this video, it probably will be well into AC service season. So we've got stocking up on valve core tools. Um, hose and manifold 
gauge sets and uh, um, thermometers and all the rest of it. So that, that'll all be coming in. I don't think we have any of that in this order. No, we don't. But that'll be, uh, I think, in our next few orders coming up. Uh, another shorter version of that same chuck from Milton. Looks like a replacement 10 millimeter socket out of the Sunex set and Milton's tire gauge, tire pressure gauge. Got a five piece gear wrench quarter inch extension set. Nothing much to say about this other than it's uh, rather affordable in their pricing. Gear wrench, uh, I think at the end, or rather Q4 of 2020, they dropped a lot of their pricing. And it looks like they did it for good because the, core, the first quarter for 2021 still has a lot of their new lower pricing. And I'm really happy to see it because we've been able to step up our, our gear wrench sales and compete more effectively with online retailers because GearWrench has allowed some exclusivity to some of their products that you cannot find on Amazon or in other retail outlets and they've been allowing their, their dealers like us to sell it. So thanks to GearWrench for being able to do that. It helps us out a lot, makes us more valuable to our customers and to add the icing on the cake, they lowered their prices so now the stuff is more affordable. Uh, Lyle makes everybody's um, oil filter wrenches. They manufacture for pretty much every brand, I think. Uh, I don't know anyone who doesn't have a Lyle manufactured oil filter wrench. And then Lyle will just third party brand it or private label it to other brands like Mac and Matco and those guys. This is perhaps one of the more popular pry bar sets. The one from Milwaukee has four pieces and it runs 8, 12, 18, and 24 inches. The bars have an eye bar design to them. So Milwaukee says they're stronger. I don't know if that's the case or not, but these sell pretty well because their pricing is so good. Um, they're, they're, um, they're pretty attractive. Uh, if you need longer pry bars or you want a bigger set, we go with uh, Mayhew for their Dominator line or Lang. Both have striker caps on the back and and uh, and take a lot of hard use to Milwaukee ones are built that same way. Um, I've never seen any 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 real breakage with these, but I don't really see much in the way of breakage for any pry bar. Every now and then, someone will chunk off a handle or break a tip off, and that's all covered because Milwaukee and Mayhew and Lang and all those other manufacturers have lifetime warranties on their pry bars. So those, that's the ones we go with. And if someone has a brand preference or sometimes the pricing's a little bit different, that will dictate what brand we go with. But when we keep stuff on the trucks, it's usually Milwaukee or Mayhew. And then if somebody wants something in particular, we'll order it for them. In this box, we have what looks like some uh, special orders for a 21 millimeter reversible combination wrench from Gear Wrench. The Power Probe Temp Probe kits are pretty cool. It comes with the probe and and the and the. I'm sorry, I'm off. I'm out of the frame here. This comes with the probe. And the unit itself, you can buy additional probes if you want. But these are very popular uh, for, for AC season. And looks like we got a repair that came back under warranty from Milwaukee. They fixed up a 3 8 impact. And rather, it looks like they just sent a new one. And Milwaukee does that a lot. They'll either... Um, Replace or repair at their discretion. A lot of times it's more cost effective for them to replace a broken unit than it is for them to pay a technician and, and buy parts for it. So a lot of times the stuff that we get back from them is just new replacement units.
This is the Gear Wrench Master Combination Wrench Set. 44 pieces, standard and metric. This is the non ratcheting box end set. And if you need a set of wrenches, this is a very compelling set to buy because you won't have to buy any other wrenches unless you want the ratcheting box end because everything you need is in this set. It's such an extensive set that there's a wrench in there for every application regardless of what size your nuts are. Moving on. Sunex has these master impact socket sets. There's a 39 piece half inch drive metric set and a 39 piece half inch drive standard set. I think both of these are going to the same customer. It's a pretty complete set and the blow molded cases are perfect if you're going to be traveling with them or keeping them in your service truck. Sunex puts a lifetime warranty on all their stuff. Very easy company for us to work with, and their prices are very good. They um, have also dropped their prices a bit lately, and we've noticed some, some real price improvements from Gear Wrench, as I said before, from SunX, and Grey Pneumatic has also dropped the price on a lot of their socket sets. You can see in one of our previous tool haul videos, we got an influx of Grey Pneumatic stuff to take advantage of some pricing that they had. And uh, some people really love their products, so we're, we're happy to put them on the trucks. And if there's an offering that Grey Pneumatic has that Sunex doesn't, or that Gear Wrench does or doesn't, then we'll just interchange those brands uh, as to what we're putting on the shelves to get people the best value and keep our prices low. They're nice because I think Grey Pneumatic probably has the most extensive offering. Sunex has. Uh, some really good pricing and then gear wrench has some really good pricing they don't offer necessarily the same specialty stuff that green pneumatic does but between those three brands we've got you covered and we always do our best to keep the prices down so something's always on sale or there's always uh, some deal that we can take advantage of oh speaking of green pneumatic uh, here is their three-eighths drive deep fractional impact socket set. This one's a special order for somebody. So we'll be delivering that this week. And the nice thing is uh, you know, the customer's taking advantage of, of some pricing choices he has and some brand choice that he has. And that's one of the things that we can do that a lot of our competition can't do is that when somebody says, I want some impact sockets, we ask what they need, what they're looking for, if there's a particular configuration to a set that they want, and then we can shop price based on brand and then offer them a choice. So we can say, here's three choices, here's the range that the sets go in, pick Grey Pneumatic, Sonex, Gear Wrench, we even have access to Titan, we have access to a lot of other brands, other brands as well. But these are the ones that we keep on the truck because they're so, so popular and, and they perform very, very well. Oh, this is a new cool tool this is a wrench extender this is the one from vim that has a rubber comfort grip handle we were carrying the one from monster but monster has discontinued that brand and you can look at a video up here i did on our first vlog segment about what happened to the monster brand the long and short of it is the brand has been discontinued. A lot of those products have been rolled into the K-Tool brand, but it looks like their wrench extender didn't survive the cut. Luckily, Vim has this one, which is almost identical to the Monster branded one. The difference being Monster had a full polish handle and this one has a comfort grip handle. I don't know if that's gonna be enough of a difference to, to matter to people's preferences. The Monster one sold like crazy. It was one of our best selling tools. So I was just waiting for this one to hit the market. It just came out. So we'll be stocking up the shelves with this version of the extender. One of the better compact impacts on the market is the Milwaukee Fuel 
stubby. The 3 8 drive one is the most popular of their two offerings, this one and a half inch one. And this one comes with uh, an extended capacity battery, a standard capacity battery, charger and a bag. And like all their other stuff, five year warranty on the tools, three year warranties on the extended battery, a two year warranty on the standard battery. And this guy's got 250 foot pounds of power in, in reverse. So there's plenty of, of, of power for most small uh, jobs in the engine compartment or the front end. The nice thing about the Milwaukee fuel stuff is they're building some nice intelligence into the controllability of the tool. This one has a fourth speed setting in reverse that backs off the RPM when it breaks your nut loose. So it's it's more refined. You have more control over what you're doing. And uh, it's it's a more, I guess, elegant way of, of performing the same function you know, if you're using Air or some other brand of cordless tool that didn't have those features. So I like what Milwaukee's been doing and building in functionality in their fuel line. Speaking of K-Tool, they've got a magnetic glove box holder. Magnets on the back of that thing, stick it to the side of your toolbox or your tool cart and insert your glove box. If you can get the gloves, I can't believe this far into the pandemic, it's still impossible for us to find gloves that are reasonably priced, but um, we, we have two suppliers that we get gloves from. One of them's a distributor and one of them's a manufacturer that we're a distributor for. Neither of which have a ready supply for, for us. And their pricing is very similar right now. And at their prices, we'd have to retail a box of gloves for $35. And I would never ask anyone to spend that kind of money on a box of 100 nitrile gloves. So the reason we don't have gloves on the truck right now is, A, supply is really hard to come by. But when they do, we're not going to buy them because they're just too expensive. I don't want to ask anyone to pay that kind of price because it's expensive for us. Uh, we're not even making full margin at, 35, at $35 a box. That's enough for us to, you know, not to do a little better than breaking even, but not much. So I don't want to feel like I'm, I'm, I'm soaking somebody in, in a, in, on a price for something that they need. I don't want to get stuck with high glove costs ourselves. And I don't want inventory just to set on the shelves. And since we finance stuff, I also don't want to you know, knock down the price so much that we're making no margin on these things. And, and it's, it's a perfect storm of ugliness when it comes to buying gloves. So the long and short of it is we don't carry them right now only because it, it price availability dictate. So when that situation improves, of course, we'll be getting plenty of gloves. But right now, unfortunately, we're limited. This is the five piece double box universal spline ratcheting wrench set from Mountain. Mountain is the private label of a company called Integrated Supply Network who also owns K-Tool, who makes that glove dispenser, and they owned the Monster brand. So they're a big distributor that we buy most of our stuff from. They've got a, a few different house brands of their own. These mountain wrenches are the same ones that are manufactured by Easy Red. Easy Red makes them under the mountain name. They also make them under their own name, but there's a slightly different design. They make these for Matco, and they were making them for Monster. They also make them for Platinum which is the house brand for another distributor called Medco. And that Mac also sells that same brand through Medco. So you've seen these wrenches. You may own these wrenches under different brands. Uh, the Mountain is just the one that we have ready access to, so it's the one that we normally carry. The wrenches are all the same. Looks like we got some special order. What is this, a socket? Yeah, oh, a little, uh, little rubber battery... Uh, rather, a switch cover for Streamlight Stingers. Lyle makes the automatic center punch that we normally carry on the truck. There's lots of other brands. I like their build quality on these better than I like some of those brass ones that uh, tend to tend to break before too long. They've got lifetime warranties, but I'd rather you be happy and not break your tools than break them and have to replace them. And for the price, they're about the same as the brass ones anyway. But these are just a better build. So we get the Lyle spring-loaded center punches. Astro Pneumatic has a terrific eight-piece carbide burst set 
they're on sale for $98.99. Compare that to the almost $350 price tag for the same eight-piece carbide burst out on the Snap-on truck. Um, the only difference really is the warranty. They uh, they put a lifetime warranty on, on the Snap-on truck and Astro. Um, I don't think they put warranties on these. But at more than three times less than the price, it may be worth it to you. It's worth it to a lot of people who are happy to buy them. They don't beat them up, and under normal use, these things will last. So these are a good seller for us because for under 100 bucks, you can't buy a good quality carbide burst set from anybody else. The replacement battery for the Streamlight Stinger is a regular item that we carry. Power Probe has the micro torches that people use for heat shrinking and soldering and, and other functions. That's a normal item for us. It looks like we're just restocking that. Looks like there was a warranty replacement for a Streamlight Stylus Pro USB pen light. They usually just replace them instead of repairing them. Some restocks of some wire wheels some repairs and warranty for snap-on ratchet what's this thing? this is what oh looks like there's some more repairs and warranty stuff that has come back some small miscellaneous items 18 millimeter green magnetic socket and then that's a bunch of warranty stuff that's come back from streamlight and snap-on and some other some other vendors. Oh, back here we got the gear wrench, heavy duty strap oil filter wrench. We were carrying the Lyle ones and they're really good quality. The only thing is Lyle only has a half inch square drive hole on theirs. Gear wrench has a half inch on one side and a three eighths on the other. So for about the same price, we decided let's go with the gear wrench one only because it's a little more versatile. So that's the one we're opting to carry now. Vampire Tool has these very popular pliers. There's five different pliers in their lineup. They've got these, which are alignment style plier. They also have a smaller pair. They've got a needle nose plier, a slip joint set and I think a mini set. These are specifically designed with hardened precision cut jaws to grip and remove the heads of damaged fasteners. Screws and rivets specifically. So you can see they put a little they put pictures on the on the package there. And I think they give you a little yeah a little diagram on the back so grabbing a screw head either um, from the top down or from the side you can also use these for all kinds of things because of the way the jaws are cut these are effective for hose clamps and a myriad of other applications a lot of folks who buy these wind up using them as a regular go-to is just because they do so many different tasks equally well um they're they're uh they sideline a lot of other pliers in people's toolboxes and of course snacks we sell a lot of trail mix they were good uh good to have on the truck to tide you over until lunchtime or sometimes guys will forget their lunch we service a lot of third shift shops and a lot of those fellas just you know need a snack around 1 or 2 a.m. so they'll, they'll grab it but it's good to have snacks on there we also have a lot of beef jerky uh, we sell a lot of jerky we sell um, a lot of the trail mix and of course we always have free candy I know it's great for the young and the young at heart like you <laughs> Okay. Next box. The 20-piece master screwdriver set from GearWrench is the one we normally carry. 
there are lots of other good screwdrivers on the market, but this is a particularly good set for the price and the quality. And we can get you real heavy duty screwdrivers from Mayhew. They make screwdrivers that are intended to be used as pry bars because they have striker caps on them and they have heavy duty shanks on them. They put a lifetime warranty on their stuff. We sold those sets, but they're a little pricier. I think you get six screwdrivers for almost the same price as you get for this 20 piece set from Gear Wrench. Um, and we offer the Gear Wrench ones under rather over other like bargain tier brands like Titan, although Titan doesn't make quality stuff. These are a bit, uh, a bit better built, a bit better quality. And this set is pretty extensive. You get 20 pieces, including two stubbies, six of the micro drive screwdrivers, and then the rest is all your all your regular um, Phillips and flathead screwdrivers. They've got a hexagonal bolster on it, and that is for extra torque. You would put a wrench around that bolster so that you can get better leverage when turning the screwdriver. And it has what they call a speed zone right there for when you want to go fast. Maybe you race screwdrivers. I don't know. It's, I don't know. Hey, they're good screwdrivers. They're the regular ones that we put on the truck. And right now they're on sale. They also have new a new line of pliers from GearWrench. These are called their pit bull pliers because they look like dogs. No, I don't know. I don't know why. Anyway, they're uh, they're a new design, I guess. I don't know. I think that this is. Uh, I mean, they're good quality. I've never had any issues with gear wrench quality pliers. I I just think that you know you come out with an a new side cutter or, or dike like this and is it really an improvement or is it just a way to give your marketing people something to do i don't know they're good no no quality issues at all um their their warranty process couldn't be easier they tout certain things with these sets like um i don't know what do they tout I don't know. I'm having. I can't. I, I really can't pitch these. What if somebody said, "What's so cool about these?" Uh, my response would be, I, "I don't know. They're pliers. They have nice jaws on them. And if you look, to try to get you a shot of the serrations here. Wait for it. Wait for. There we go. We can see that there's that bigger opening toward the end of the jaw. And I don't know if that means something. I, I'm clearly it's there by design. I don't know what it's for." Maybe grabbing wire, maybe grabbing other things. And as you open the drawers, notice how they, uh, they're not at an angle like normal tongue and groove pliers are. They, they're, they're fairly parallel when you, when you grip, which I kind of like. Um, and, and those serrations, you know, line up as you open the jaw. So you, maybe you get better grip. I don't know. I'm trying to find something here to, I don't know. They're good pliers. I would never, nothing bad to say about them. I just... Don't know why they came out with uh yeah must just be a branding thing or a marketing thing but anyway need pliers there's pliers gear wrench also has a line of dead below hammers gear wrench is owned by a company called apex tool group and apex owns lots of other brands they owned armstrong tool if you remember those guys from back in the day and a while back Apex decided to contract their their brand line and they decided to take a lot of the Armstrong tools and move them over to the Gear Wrench brand, including hammers. They discontinued other things like sockets and stuff where there's already uh, duplicity between the brands. So the hammers are under the Gear Wrench brand now. And we sell bunches of these because they're such good quality. And they put a lifetime warranty on them. And I don't know, come to think of it, if I've ever seen a broken a broken hammer. I don't know. They're, uh, those are the normal dead blows like that that we keep on the truck. We also put the Milton Bash sledgehammer 
line on the trucks a lot of times, but these are the regular go-tos. I've touted this guy a number of times in the past on previous tool haul videos. This is the Onyx 90 degree quick lock die grinder from Astro. The cool thing about this die grinder is it has a, a lock button that you use to lock the collet. This guy right here. So you push that in, it locks the collet so that you do not need two wrenches to open the collet and insert your mandrel. You can just press that, use one wrench. It's faster, a little bit easier. I don't know that it makes a huge difference for usability, but um, what they don't tout on this is perhaps its biggest advantage, and that is it's low vibration. They don't tell you that because I don't, I don't know why they don't, but the guys who buy that from us, a lot of body men who are using it all day long. And the reason they like it so much is the composite housing prevents it from getting cold. And it's low vibration enough that they can use it all day and not experience hand fatigue. So it's a terrific die grinder. The price on that is way less than if you get the Ingersoll one and, and certainly the Snap-on one. I think those are upwards about 200 bucks. This guy right here, we retail it for 115 The mini file set is the default set that we put on the trucks. This is from GearWrench. It has a regular assortment of round, triangular, and flat files. And they uh, they do a really nice job with all of their hand tools these days. We've we've come to rely on their hand tools a lot. Not so much on their lighting or their storage solutions, but their um, every time they come up with a hand tool, I get really interested because it's it's usually very good quality. We got a battery that came back from Milwaukee. We got a digital inspection video scope from our pals at Autel. We sell a lot of different brands of scanner. Autel is probably the most popular. There are some things to be aware of if you're considering a scanner. Autel's pricing is pretty good. Their quality is very good. Their usability is very good. Very intuitive interface. And people really gravitate toward their scanners because they offer good coverage. And they're highly, highly usable, very user-friendly. Years ago, Autel support was terrible. And I've heard people say it has gotten better. I was told at the last tool show I was at when I talked with an Autel rep, he said that they've been putting a lot of time and money into upgrading their in-house post-sale support. So I haven't had chance to use their support uh, in the past couple of years. I hope it's gotten better than what it was, but that was the only reason why I would ever dissuade anyone from from pursuing an Autel solution was because if you need support after the sale, it usually didn't exist. The good thing about Autel is people don't usually need support after the sale. So a lot of folks would opt for the money to go with the Autel. Plus, when you're dealing with stuff like scanners, because these are really computers, a lot of times people just gravitate toward what they know. And if somebody has one in the shop already and someone has a chance to play with it and look at it, they kind of like it, they want one too. Or if they've used one at another shop, for example, it's what they know and have gotten used to. So it's what they want to keep in their arsenal. So they're not inclined to change brands so much, even though there may be a better offering. A lot of times people just want to play it safe and stick with what they know. And that is understandable. And that's why we offer so many different brands. So Autel, Launch, Bosch, OTC, Can Do. Uh, there's even some new brands that just came out that I'm not familiar with at all, whose names I can't really remember. <clears throat> but one of the issues is uh, of, uh, when you have too much brand choice and you can really do yourself a disservice if you're a dealer like us to offer up too many, too many choices because you run the risk of just paralyzing people's thought process. So what we normally do is we just go to maybe the top three, Autel, Launch, Bosch, and say, here's the different offerings for each. 
give them some facts and some and some uh, pricing and let folks then kind of navigate through that in their own thought process of what they know and help them as best we can to make a decision. So I tell you all that to tell you this. <laughs> We've got the Autel inspection scope. All right. What do we got here? Oh, more. Oh, this is the large air gauge from Milton. That's the gauge. It's like those long chucks. And we got, looks like a warranty replacement gear wrench impact swivel socket. We used to buy the Monster branded infrared thermometer all the time, and the pricing was really pretty good. They were like 50 bucks for a really good thermometer. And since the Monster line went away, we were forced to look at some alternatives. And there's a ton of different brands for these thermometers. There's Master Cool, there's other brands as well. I can't remember off the top of my head. So as I'm looking at specs and comparing prices, ESI is a brand that I've come to trust for multimeters and other electronic items. These guys only make electronics. It's not like they're this diversified brand that makes all these different things. So I, t I tend to trust their products. I've never really been let down. We've only had one issue that I can recall in all the years we've been selling their stuff with a multimeter and they took care of it under warranty, no problem. So ESI is a go-to for this. We're gonna try this new infrared thermometer on the truck and see how well it does. For the price, I think it's, it's pretty good. <coughs> Excuse me. Titan has the Vapor brand of non-aerosol spray cans. These are just like the Sure Shots, but they're about 20 bucks less. So these are the ones that we normally keep on the truck. Noco has the the jump the jump boxes that we normally carry. We have access to lots of other brands. We also carry the Jump and Carry brand from Clore and uh, I think there's some other brands in there. Oh yeah, the ones from Schumacher as well, but I think for the money, it's really hard to beat the NoCo stuff. We've never ever had a problem with them. There's guys that live in different climates that have, that have weighed in on some of the comments on previous videos saying that they didn't like them in cold weather so much. I can't tell you that myself because being here in Central Texas, we really don't have cold weather very much. So I, I couldn't tell you if there's a performance hit that these guys have. What I do know is for our area here, there's never been a performance issue. I don't think we've ever had a warranty claim on one. Uh, one guy did bring us one that stopped performing, but he's had it for years. So I, um, yeah, that's the only issue we've ever had with them. Nothing ever, ever under warranty. These things last. They perform well for a long time. And for the price, you're getting something that's more powerful than the nearest comparable jump and carry box and the fact that you can just lift this easily with one hand, uh, it's it's superior in weight than the jumbo carries. Those guys are heavy. And um, this is a great space saver, a great weight saver. And it's stronger, has higher peak amperage than the jumbo carries. And they cost about the same. So a lot of advantages to that over the, uh, over the jumbo carries. Next box, we have a half inch impact that came back from repair from Milwaukee. That was a warranty job. These are really cool wire strippers. These are the adjustable ones with the built in wire cutter. Automatically adjusts the wire size. Just stick the wire in, squeeze the handle, and off you go. These are from SG Tool. Those, these guys make a lot of really good quality stuff. We love them for a lot of these specialty tools. Oh, another one of the Astro Quick Lock Die Grinders. There's another one of those Vim wrench extenders. Power Probe makes the butane soldering kits that we carry. There are different brands available, but we've never been inclined to try anyone else because these guys perform so well. Never had an issue with them. They're rock solid, and uh, that's our regular inventory item. 
Looks like we have some replacement parts for stream light lights. We keep a whole line of, of uh, switch caps and pocket clips, batteries, and other stuff on the truck that we can just swap out if we need to. It's a tiny little lady's foot pry bar from K-Tool. Omen is the brand of inspection mirrors and magnetic pickup tools that we carry. Oh, more magnets. This set of 3H drive ratchets is fairly new from GearWrench and it's been really popular because these are the ones with the compact heads. And this 3H one here is so short that people find it particularly handy. We've been selling a bunch of these. They're, they're the new 90 tooth gear design and the head is compact compared to their regular ratchets. I think they're 20% narrower so they fit into tighter spaces and these guys have been real popular. And I think they put this on sale for us on the trucks for like 60 bucks or 62 bucks. Something that uh, for a tool truck is, is unheard of pricing. So that's one of the reasons we've been selling so many of them. I, I don't know what you can get those for anywhere else. I don't know if they're on Amazon or not. But, you know, when you hear me talk about pricing, understand this is tool truck pricing. It's not regular retail outlet pricing. So these are being sold on credit to people. There's, there's a credit risk that we take when we extend that kind of credit to people. There's also the low volume buying that we do, so our prices are generally higher like you would find on any other tool truck. But when you compare these prices to other tool trucks, you find that, that we come out ahead most of the time with this stuff because um, hitching our wagon to the gear wrench star has been very good for us. We all, That's why we're also big fans of SunX and Green Pneumatic and Ullman and all these other brands that you see, especially Milwaukee, because they're doing more and more with low volume dealers like ourselves and helping us sell their product for more competitive pricing. And that's been huge for us. It's been a game changer. Probably in the last year, we've seen a, a really nice improvement in pricing. All right, Ooh, oh, <laughs> you're ready for this? This is the stuff you've been waiting for. This is the stuff you've suffered through the last, however long this video has been. I think, is that like 45 minutes probably? I don't even know. I don't see the timer on my camera, but we've been out it a while. Good for you for hanging in there. Your patience is about to pay dividends because we just got in our new shipment of knives from the Columbia River Knife and Tool Company, CRKT, and sunglasses and eyewear from Oakley. Ooh, maybe I should do that again. And this way we'll put music so that it gets its own music. Ready? Knives from CRKT and sunglasses from Oakley. Alright, we can do this one of two ways. I can just show you that and say, hey, we did it. Or we can really dig in, take our time, and go over each one individually. Let's do that. First, we'll do the knives. CRKT has this fossil model, which is my favorite model of all. This is the knife that got me sold on the entire CRKT line. It has a finger release there for the blade and it opens so smooth because they use a ball bearing pivot mechanism for a lot of their knives and you will never open a smoother knife than a CRKT. And it's gorgeous. The Can you even see this? Is, it not, is the camera not focusing? I don't even know what's going on here. Hold on. Stan, I don't... Is, are we focused? Come on, camera. How do you not see that? See that? Camera? Hello? Golly, there we go! Holy smokes, camera! Alright, so this guy is one of my favorites. It's a large... It's a large handle for bigger hands. You get a really good grip on it. And it's just a beautiful blade. It's a liner lock, so it has the lock mechanism here. Just push that out of the way and close the blade. 
the CRKT fossil. Next. This one is the pillar or the pillar, P-I-L-A-R. It's got a cool aggressive grip. It's got the, uh, I don't know what you call it, the holes here. Where you put your thumb to open it. And this beefy thick blade. Get my camera to focus. There we are. It's short. The whole thing, I think, is just over four inches. But it's compact and uh, fits easily in your pocket. This guy is, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's the NIRK, N-I-R-K, TIG, T-I-G-H-E. It's got this cool skeletonized body. A little flipper there. <clears throat> Do that again. That wasn't cool. Hold on. This guy, cool skeletonized body. Watch the finger flipper. Zing! See? Focus. Yeah, you tell me how to pronounce that. Nurk Tig? I don't know. I don't I don't I'm not a marketing guy. I don't make this stuff up. This is a um a really cool offering. I think they used to make these in other colors too. Like they have the green, they used to make them in blue. And the lock on it is back here. You just press this down, releases the blade. Next. This is the burnout. I'm no good at opening this style. It kind of has a little thumb thing that you press there. It's an assisted opening, and my, my hands don't work good because I have um, some nerve damage, so I can't really grip it. Hey! Knocking over the camera. Hey! So I can't really grip it the way it should, so I'm a terrible at demonstrating this stuff, but this one has a particularly nice blade. I love the, the point on this one if the camera ever decides to focus. There we go. Um, and the body's beautiful. It's a larger handle, which is really comfortable with a pocket clip. It's a liner lock. And I think I mentioned that it's a assisted opening spring-loaded one. This is the igniter. Again, one of these uh, push-button assisted opening ones that I can't do too well. This is more of a mid-size. It's a little bit smaller than the one I just showed you. I'm trying to get this thing to focus here. It's, camera's not happy. There we go. And this one is also a liner lock. This one has surprised me with its popularity. It's a very sleek and elegant design. It's the CEO. And this is the one with the little flippy opening guy right there. Just an elegant, elegant knife. Every time we put these on the trucks, they go away pretty quick. This one isn't going to last but a, but a day or two. And a liner lock.
One of the more popular lines that CRKT has is their Carson M16 line. And this is one of the, the smaller ones. Jeez. This is one of the smaller ones in the offering. They have these that uh, come much larger. And I think there's a good in-between size as well. This is a, a lightweight handle design. Very utilitarian blade. A great all-around knife. And it has a little lock on it too. So the blade locks open. And to close it, you just flip that lock. And then you got a liner lock down there too. So... Get the little thumb lock there, and uh, I'm trying to be slick here and show you, and I can't do it. Little, uh, then the liner lock, so you got to get that guy and the liner lock, and the blade closes. Smooth. This is one of the big Carsons in that same lineup as that M16 I showed you. This is the M21, and it's a full size knife. Um, it also has the the flipper to open it. It has these VEF serrations on it. It's VEF from V-E-F-F. -F, a guy named... Oh, what's his first name? Anyway, VEF is the last name of the guy who developed these serrations. He licenses the serrations to CRKT. And he has his own shop up in Oregon, I think. And I think you can actually send him knives to put these serrations on and also sharpen them. He has all kinds of services available, and he licenses his design to CRKT. And they have these aggressive serrations on them, which I think are pretty cool. Better than the standard run-of-the-mill serrations that you get. And like the smaller M16 Carson, this one also has the thumb lock up top there. And a liner lock. Now we'll look at Oakley sunglasses. Hey, you're thinking, Lindsay, I know for a fact that tool trucks can't carry Oakleys because the only authorized dealer is Matco because they have a contractual arrangement with Oakley to be the dealer, to be a tool dealer for the glasses. Why do you have them? Well, because we're an independent company and that means we can buy stuff from all kinds of places. And because we're more than just a tool company, we are also a federally licensed firearms dealer, we can purchase Oakley products through our biggest firearm distributors. So we can put them on the trucks and we can sell them to our other outlets as well. And the great thing is with the pricing we get, they're about the same as you'd find them anywhere else. So uh, we can we can get full margin on them and not have to charge more for them. And it's one of the few products that we can truly be competitive with any other retail outlet. So thanks, Oakley, for keeping your prices where they are, and, and thanks to the RSR group, which is where we buy them from, for keeping their prices manageable, and everybody seems to enjoy the fact that we can put Oakleys on the trucks. So we have, I think, five, one, two, three, four, five, six different styles that we just got in. Let's go through them. First up is the Flak Jacket XLJ. This guy comes in a hard case, and inside of that hard case, Is a soft case that has the glasses. Just trying to be careful. I don't want to get my fingers all over it. I don't know what it is about Oakley sunglasses designs, but I'll be darned if everyone doesn't look good in them. I don't know why that is the case, but it is. It seems like nobody looks bad in Oakley's. And I'm not just saying that because because we've got them. I mean, I've got access to spyware. Let's see if I can get this to focus. We've got access to spy. We've got access to other brands of sunglasses, but the Oakley's are just so popular and such good looking glasses. They're the ones that uh, I was dying to get a hold of. And when my Firearm distributor announced that they were carrying them. We jumped on it and have never regretted it.
These are the Batwolf style. And I like that name because it sounds like something a six-year-old kid would think of if he was dreaming up a superhero. And by the way, don't think for a second that I don't realize how horrible this backdrop is. I know it is. It's just I've got no good place to, to set these up because this place is in such disarray with all the stuff we're getting in. And the cool American flag camo temple piece. Batwolf. Sounds like a comic book character. I don't know how well this style sells for Oakley. All I know is everyone that I know who owns Oakley's owns a pair of gas cans. And these are the Texas edition. So they come in a, in a soft pouch. Colored in the Texas flag. And on the temple piece is a Texas flag as well. And focus. And focus. There we go. These are a terrific all-around pair of glasses. They do look good on everyone. Another pair of gas cans. This one has the American flag on the temple piece. Same style as the Texas ones I just showed you. Just a different flag. I think both are equally popular down here in Texas. I think we sold just as many as one of these as the other. Handsome set of glasses there. The Ballistic M frame style. Really good coverage with these. Because the lens is so big. And they're nice and lightweight because they don't have the full frame on them. With a nice wide nose piece. These guys are really comfortable. Good looking, good coverage, good protection. Tough to beat. Whew. Well, if you made it this far, thank you so much for hanging in there. I know that uh, this, this took a good chunk of your day. If you've watched it in parts, I thank you too. Um, I hope that you find value in this format. I get some very good feedback from you so i continue to do them i'll uh i'll stop doing them when you stop liking them <laughs> but i like this one in particular because we have some new and different things that we don't normally get in our orders so i really wanted the chance to share it with you hope you found it valuable and hope you enjoyed it now in the future we've got some other videos coming up that expand on some of the previous formats that we just started including new vlog segments that are going to discuss different manufacturers' warranty policies and procedures because it varies depending on who the manufacturer is. And we'll also do some more Tools in the Hall videos, of course, as well as our regular toolbox and tool cart reviews. And we also have some interview segments coming up with some extremely interesting people. So do me a favor. Click down here now to subscribe so that you don't miss any of it. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, use a tool. Don't be one.